This video is in 360 degrees and we recommend you watch on a mobile device. Use VR goggles for the full immersive experience. Proceed at your own risk. You are a Hey everyone, welcome to the first ever No Such Thing as a Fish mini-sode filmed in 360. <laughs> so start spinning around the video and you'll see everyone Whoa. around the table. Whoa, Andy! Whoa. <laughs> you can just stay still because people can spin around you. I understand now. <laughs> <laughs> can I just say mini -sode? What kind of a word is that? Yeah, I know, I felt dirty saying it. <laughs> it was forced upon us. Don't judge us, judge this guy. The person in the corner, James Ross and our social media expert who forced us to use that word. <laughs> but actually this is all about our new book, That's the right. book of the year 2019. And there is a disgusting portmanteau in this book Ooh. as well. Yeah. And that is the word marat. Oh yeah. Yes. Okay, you all remember marat. It is basically a meaty carrot. Okay, it and sounds this so much like a euphemism. <laughs> I feel genuinely ill. I can kind of see why they went for marat because meaty carrot is no better, mm. is it really? Um, but this is from the US fast food restaurant Arby's, whose slogan is the just as awful, we have the meats. And mm. they invented a new thing called the marat, which is a wad, a wad <laughs> of ground turkey colored and shaped exactly like a carrot. That's nice. Amazing. We've actually um, got a lot of new words, by the way, oh, like yeah. marat in the book. Yeah, we've done this uh, dictionary page, as you can see here. So if you want to find out all the greatest new words from the year. Mm -hmm. Okay, do you have a word for us? Yeah, Ooh. sure. Um, there was Ricky Leak. Uh, Ricky or Ricky Leak. Leak, yeah. It was um, it was the intentional disclosure of secret messages slagging off pop star Ricky Martin. Um, <laughs> this was in Puerto Rico. Um, these were messages between senior politicians um, that were leaked, showing them to be misogynistic, homophobic, and insulting to people who died um, in the hurricane. But one set of texts focused directly on insulting Ricky Martin, and that was unacceptable. Yeah. And hashtag Ricky Leaks went out. He got involved. <laughs> It was beautiful. We cover really huge news like that <laughs> and uh, other seminal stories from the year, like the girl who ordered a size 16 bikini and instead received two size eights. Yes. <laughs> Big stuff. <laughs> Headline news. Well, that might work, mightn't it? No, no, I don't think you quite understand women's anatomy as well as you think you do. If you stitch them together, would they have the same surface area? You would need four boobs. Well, you could okay. do some stitching, but I think when you order clothes, you don't expect to have to then re-stitch them <laughs> into the shape that you required. I just think maybe we are not as self-sufficient as we used to be. That's a good um, point. <laughs> I have a fact about uh, names, actually, as we've been doing a few on words, and that's the the uh, the suburb in Colorado that was called Swastika Acres until this year finally changed its name. Oh, wow. yeah. They Two. finally decided that, uh, to Swastika hit Hectares. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, they changed it to Old Cherry Hills. Okay. Aww. Yeah, which is very nice. But um, it was named in 1908, back when the swastika wasn't really a thing. Yeah. Mm. yeah. No, it was a thing. It was a thing, but it was not a bad thing. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> We do lot. cover we do cover a lot of you know the big headline news from the year as well. We try to dig deep into it and find the weird stuff. So Hong Kong protests have obviously been a huge thing this year. Mm. But um, I love the detail that the protesters when they stormed government buildings, they consumed the contents of some of the fridges when they were protesting because I guess it's hungry work. And then they left money to pay for what they'd taken. Sweetly, nice. That's really yeah, nice. very nice. They're good guys. They also communicated via these special signals, didn't they? Because they had to know things when they were protesting, like you know, pass the scissors through the crowd, please. I need to cut through this mm. tape or something. It did then get very <laughs> violent, though, didn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, when you say I need to cut through this tape, were they opening many supermarkets in the middle of the protests? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they still got to do the day job, which was opening supermarkets. Uh, I have a weather fact, okay. which is yeah. that this year hell froze over. Ooh. Yeah, there's an American town called Hell, and uh, it was very cold in winter, so it froze <laughs> over. <laughs> it's not quite as exciting well, as I it sounds. I think this is unusual that it does so, right? Yes. Because they had, was it the polar vortex, which yeah. was massive news in America, and everything was freezing. Yeah. Uh, but then later in the year, of course, it got very hot. Uh, so people wanted to eat ice creams, he says, opening up <laughs> <laughs> massive shoehorn. And we have this great story, which is that Mr. Whippy accused Mr. Creamy of whipping up an ice cream feud. <laughs> <laughs> the story is incredible. It's you have to get so the book good. just for it's this story. so good. It was the streets of Blackburn absolutely terrorised by these two <laughs> ice cream men. And then, was it that there was someone else got involved? Mr. Was Yummy. Mr. Mr. Yummy yeah. got involved. <laughs> it's a bit of a three-way. Ice cream everywhere. <laughs> all over Blackburn. But look, you have to, if you can, buy this book because we're incredibly proud of it. It's really fun, this uh, this version. This, this is the third in the series and we've actually done a lot of stuff of making it visually look a bit more visual. Uh, this oh, is, uh, it's got that picture 
picture of the elephant's bum that Anna always draws mm. all the time. That's oh, what she favorite. drew. Yeah, it's compulsion. I've got That's a James's wide, head. wide repertoire. Thanks very much. <laughs> that just happens That's, to be one of my many options. That's Einstein's head. That's not my head. Oh, is that Einstein's oh. head? I mix the two of you up so much. Um, <laughs> here's another thing. We have a. This is what Julian Assange's room looked like in the Ecuadorian embassy. We've added a lot of stuff about that. We've got all the loneliest animals from the year: loneliest duck, snail, bat, everything on the squad. It's really an awesome book, and it contains absolutely no Brexit. If you want to get away from that, this is the book. <laughs> yes, indeed. So please escape Brexit and go and buy this book, the book of the year 2019. Bookshops will sell it. The internet <laughs> will sell it. Everywhere that sells books will sell it. So look it up, go buy it. Well, we f nailed the minisode. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> If you enjoyed this 360 video, why not try the QI4D experience? Stay tuned for next week's episode. Full exciting innovation from QI Laboratories.